Hey everybody, uh, welcome to my channel, which I still need to come up with a name for. I just haven't had time to really think about it. Um, today I thought we would take a look. I've googled Joel Osteen here, and first thing that pops up is Joel Osteen Ministries. Now the first thing that I find kind of interesting about this interesting is that it's Joel Osteen .com, Joel Osteen Ministries he puts his name on it it's not like um, I mean it's like what like what Peter Popoff does um, it's like it's unlike what uh, st. Matthews churches does they put a another dude's name on there so I thought Okay, so there's a little bit of ego there. And look at that that picture. Got a little bit of gray there. Mm. Getting old, Joel. Here we go. So here is his page, his site, joelosteen.com. Not even joelosteenministries.com. Just joelosteen.com. This guy, uh, yeah, he puts himself front and center, doesn't he? Um, a little unchristian, let's see. Here we go. We've got nice little uh, navigation links at the top. Each one leading to a different page with the same navigation on there. Interesting. Let's see. By Someone's Miracle by Victoria Osteen. I think that is Joel's uh, wife, maybe. Somebody. I don't know. Someone related to Joel. I love the parable of the Good Samaritan that Jesus told in Luke 10. You know what? I find that parable to be very interesting too and I'll tell you why um, uh, in uh, where it says where it talks about the uh, about this where it, where Jesus tells the story it is in response to a question now what question is that um, we're gonna look that up here before we do anything else Luke 10 okay thank you for Luke 10. We're going to go down here to Luke 10, New International Version. And let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? The Parable of the Good Samaritan. Okay, we're going to read this. Um, on one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to Jesus, to, stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess the uh, Jewish law did talk about inheriting eternal life, but Jewish law talked about a literal eternal life, not an eternal life in heaven, but an eternal life on earth. Anyway, he answered, love the Lord God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, does it really say that in the Torah anywhere? There's not really much about love in there at all. Hmm. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? This, this is where it's really interesting. <clears throat> so, you are supposed to love God, Yahweh, that is. Uh, love your neighbor as yourself. So I guess you're supposed to also love yourself, but they just assume that you do. But love your neighbor. And who is my neighbor? Who is he supposed to love? And here is his answer. This is who Jesus says you are supposed to love. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed up by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed on the other side. Supposedly good people. Don't let that distract you, though. Uh, everyone says that... Not everyone. People have told me that um, the message of the story was that all these supposedly upstanding people were um, ignoring the, the guy's plight. And that, you know, just because you're a fine, upstanding person doesn't necessarily mean you're a good person. That's not the message. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. Samaritans, I guess, sucked. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. When, then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. 
The next day he took out two denarii, some amount of money, and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expenses you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? Jesus is saying not all of them were his neighbor, and he is telling them who they should love. The expert in law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. The time is 10 o'clock a.m. It's 10 o'clock a.m. Anyway, yeah, so Jesus says um, to love those who have mercy on you. And you are under no obligation to love those who uh, leave you by the side of the road to die. That's what it says here. And then uh, it goes into a totally different story. And before the Good Samaritan, uh, let's see, blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you what many prophets and kings wanted, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that has nothing to do. This, this Good Samaritan story is a totally separate uh, thing that can be seen separately. Anyway, that was, that was an interesting aside, wasn't it? No? Oh, well. Let's see. <clears throat> Unlike the priest and the religious Levite, who both saw the wounded man lying at the side of the road and kept on walking, the Samaritan saw him and had compassion on him. He bandaged him up, put him on his donkey, took him to an inn, gave the innkeeper money for his care, and promised to return, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so she's probably reading the New International Version, too. Jesus' simple word to us is, Go and do likewise. Love your neighbor as yourself. Open your heart of compassion. Let me use you to help others in need. No, that's not the, uh, the message of the story. We're all busy. Even the Samaritan man might have been busy. Might have been. Didn't say he was. We shouldn't assume he was. We had to leave to take care of something else, but not before his compassion. Oh, he had to leave before uh, to take care of something else, but not before his compassion had been poured out. We can't get so busy with our own lives that we fail to notice the needs of the people around. Yeah, I mean, it's a good message. Yeah. But it's not the message of Luke 10... Uh, 25 through 37. That, however, is not why Joel Osteen Ministries is being featured on this channel. That was a long aside. Here we go. Live the abundant life. Joel Osteen is a prosperity gospel preacher. He's certainly in it for his own prosperity, and uh, nothing comes up. That might be because of my ad blocker. Let me disable that real quick here see what happens okay let's reload here we go wow that was reading as an ad funny okay so i can request my copy of live the abundant life maybe i'll do oh wait do you have to um do you have to donate request this great resource receive this encouraging resource with a gift of any size uh zero is a size let's see if i can do this um, please make a selection. Wait. The only selection is no products, donation only. Uh, dude. No, I don't want to partner with you on a monthly basis. Um, okay, so... Well, let's, let's see what happens if I click donate zero. If I can get it with a donation of a dollar... Maybe I'll do it. Okay, let's see what happens if I donate a dollar. Um, nothing. I don't know, whatever. Okay, the gist of this is that he will tell you how to live a life, uh, abundant life, that just means how to be rich and have everything you want. And um, he will tell you how to do that if you donate money to him. This, this is Peter Popoff's M.O. You are not called to have just enough or to barely get by. I believe and declare you're coming into a season of overflow, increase, and abundance. This sounds so much like the language used by Popoff. Wow. God is not going to do more than you can imagine. Or God is going to do more than you can imagine. I don't know why I inserted not in there. But God is going to do more than you can imagine. View a message from Joel. Well, what's included here? 
Live the Abundant Life plus an Abundant Life bookazine. Bookazine. You're going to be blessed and encouraged through these special resources as you experience more of God's goodness, stand on his promises, and live in his abundance every day. God wants to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ask or imagine. Request today. Okay, so differences between uh, Osteen and Popoff. Osteen is not encouraging poor people to give their last pennies to him. He wants a donation of at least $50. Um, obviously, this is meant to hold more than $50. So if I put $49 and I click... What happens? Nothing. What if I click $50 and donate? Okay, I thought maybe it was programmed to only work if you put in more than 50, but no, I probably have to use a different uh, different browser. Anyway, yeah, he seems to be targeting um, the already prosperous to uh, tell them you are prosperous because God wants you to be, because you're righteous and wonderful and lovely. Uh, which is a slightly different message, but really no less horrible, not much less horrible, because he's saying if you're if people are poor, it's because uh, God isn't uh, isn't blessing them. Let's see, gift of any size, you get the abundant life and the bookazine. You're going to be blessed and encouraged through these special resources. Yeah, yeah, we already read that. And if you donate one hundred and twenty-five dollars or more. You get a hope hat, plus 50 days to better living journal, Ooh. and live the abundant life, plus abundant life bookazine. You'll be blessed every day by this special journal. Oh, but what about by the hat? Surely the hat will bless you. You'll receive this exclusive hope hat along with an abundant life, with the abundant life resources. These uplifting resources are going to be an inspiration as you believe and receive God's abundance in your life. Get ready for God's increase and abundance in your life. Yeah. Um, Joel Osteen is a rich man's preacher, fleecing rich people, which I suppose isn't as bad, but it's uh, it's not great. It's not great. So that um, I think that's all I got for you today. Maybe, maybe we'll see if he sells stuff. Here we go, store. Let's see, $15 hardcover our best life together that's not a bad price for a hardcover book but you know it's full of crap <clears throat> does he have anything other than books this is just books uh, gifts from the heart that looks like a children's book let's see filter by default joel osteen Dodie osteen victoria osteen i don't know who they are price low to high no it looks like it's just books Although he's got a hat also available, so I don't know. It's just books. Uh, let's look at this before we go. Twelve dollars for a hardcover "Gifts from the Heart" children's book-looking thing. It's our heart's condition that blesses God. In this children's storybook series, your children will go on an exciting journey to uh, set in the medieval world of castles and royalty. <laughs> when the king of the town is having a party thrown in his honor the townspeople are looking for the fanciest gift they can bring him and obviously a child finds the the plainest gift and thinks oh it's not going to be good enough and it turns out it is he likes it the best because it's from the heart and the king is supposed to represent yahweh but in reality the king is representing uh, joel osteen ministries and in reality what they want is lots and lots of money at least fifty dollars from everyone so there we go i've got nothing else to show you today so i hope you enjoyed that i will see you next time